So, fam, I think you got the question wrong of this new this this new topic that we're going to mm-hmm. talk about. Who will be Joe Biden's VP? Does mm-hmm. it matter? Joe Biden is not going to be the presidential mm-hmm. nominee. Okay, all right. This is my listen. They got Bernie out of the way mm-hmm. because let's be let's let, let me explain something here, ladies and gentlemen. I think you already know this, and you should explain this to your friend that the Democratic establishment party their hate is not really for Donald Trump. Their true venom is for progressives. Yeah, more than anything, they don't want progressives taking over the party so like we've always said and this is evident as, as as all can be stop the progressives first and then if you can beat republicans and donald trump so be it so their first objective was to get bernie out of the way mm-hmm. he's out of the way now now instead of picking dumbass dementia man uh you know you lying dog face pony soldier they're gonna say with the tara reed stuff and with his his batteries or his antennas they're going to replace him with somebody else. And I think that the question is, who are they going to replace him with? And I think the whole time, it's going to be Hillary Clinton, Michelle Obama, Andrew they're, Cuomo. They're not Those are the strong list right now. I am, I'm going to bet money right now that Joe Biden will not be the presidential nominee. They will remove him and place him with somebody else not named Bernie Sanders. Well, yeah. I mean, I think it's, first of all, it's naive to think that they would put Bernie to replace. They're not that smart. I also think it's naive to think it's going to be Michelle because I don't think they're smart enough either to do that. Um, And the two top contenders to be Biden's VP, which inherently means Biden's replacement, are Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton, as well as actually Warren and Klobuchar. So Hillary Clinton's numbers are rising, but Warren and Klobuchar are actually higher than her right now in the betting odds. So Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is the one leading the list of the Biden running mates. And of Mm -hmm. course, we know that she would be the uh, strong. They would both be like the crime bill crew, like strong on crime, just like Republicans, strong on crime. I mean, really, what's the point of voting for? Mnuchin's buddy. Like, seriously. And so the uh, victory has a thousand mothers and fathers. They said a successful political campaign has many building blocks. Joe Biden's quest for the Democratic presidential nomination is no exception there are many reasons for his win but one factor that stands out in the claim of the democratic nod was his success with african-american voters and then they go on to talk about um how joe biden did so well with uh voters of course not the young ones um as we all know and um they talk about elizabeth warren being the favored vice presidential candidate of most voters the problem with elizabeth warren is she doesn't really have a base i mean she didn't really get that many people out there she has a very white well-educated intellectual base Damn, she's a woman of color over there she's oh, one yes, i'm sorry 2020th I native american stop um and <laughs> that's a, he's not, she's not gonna help him get anybody in the south she's not gonna help him get anything in fact she's gonna repel voters from him so she obviously wouldn't be a good choice then it's kamala harris who trails warren 36 percent to 19 percent in the cbs vice presidential <clears throat> preference poll but of course like we said um she she was a top tier candidate taken out by Tulsi Gabbard right away. So why would he pick somebody that was eliminated that quickly? She's got a killer resume, literally, is what I would say. <laughs> she like literally killed and jailed yeah, mi- you got thousands a couple guys of on black death and row brown over there with the poor that can't afford the system, man. You want to talk about a person who was so bad to men of color? Yeah. I mean, Kamala Harris, she has a white husband, right? She hates black men, I think. She has not done anything for them in the state of California. She arrested so many of them for smoking marijuana and then laughed about it on the radio station. Remember? When Tulsi uh-huh. went after it, she did all that stuff. I mean, she's terrible. She actually let uh, several people stay on death row that were clearly innocent or didn't have the proof against them, but she hung them on technicalities because she was looking at like a scoreboard. Conviction, conviction, yep. conviction. You're not really serving justice if they're, if they're innocent. No, conviction, conviction. Let me get as many convictions as, as possible. Elitist piece of you-know-what and also let Mnuchin off the hook for what he did in Mnuchin to millions of people out of the fucking houses he was a part of it and then who does donald trump hire the same club so aside from those klobuchar amy klobuchar who i got has, number two um, is to be the s- replacement has served an elective office on all three levels of government she hmm. has the selling point of geography and i agree with that she has the midwest she is like that midwestern lady the midwestern wine mom 
that some people actually like that she has actually participated in more legislation with Sanders than somebody like, say, Elizabeth Warren. And if you look into it, she is like a true moderate. She doesn't try to sell herself as a progressive. She doesn't try to sell herself of what she isn't. At least that comes a little bit more genuine than, say, a Harris who tries to sell herself as a progressive or a Warren, uh, the uh, snake Warren. So, um, that's those are the ones that are there but then hillary clinton in the betting odds has gone up so Fam, you're looking at betting odds now and stuff like yeah, that yeah. oh my god see this is vegas. what i did i rubbed off on people my lord so uh, hillary clinton of course like we talked about yesterday did the whole uh is going to have the fundraiser for joe biden charging 2800 dollars of people so this is joe biden's likelihood after betting sites had listed him as high as 20,000 to clinch the nomination following Bernie Sanders' exit. Now he has slid to the 800. You want me to explain that? It's minus minus, uh, minus, uh, 20,000, right? Minus 20,000 or minus 800. So minus 20,000 is what you would get on a $100 bet. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you bet $100, it's minus 20,000. So an $800 wager would, would, would pay you out hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. So that's how much you got to post up, meaning he was the big favorite after yep. Bernie dropped out. Now, the reason why he slid is because with the Tara Reid, and yeah. this is what you would call slide, now he's minus 800, so a hundred dollar bet would pay you a lot more for him to get the nomination. It's pretty much uh, still the solid bet right yeah. now, but it slid down in exactly. the odds because why? Because the Tara Reid accusations are heating up. Uh, Joe Biden is pretty much hid because of his dementia. So there's a real likely chance that he will be replaced. Yep. And even the bookies and the odds makers are noticing it. So that's something big right there to, to, to really notice because some of your biggest uh, bookies, they're mm-hmm. tied to hotel and you know, get, you know people high in gambling. So therefore, you know, when you make these bets, if they're, if they're saying something, and they're lowering the odds. That means mm-hmm. the, the, it's in the water. It's out there. People are talking about it. They got inside information that they're trying to talk about replacing Joe. Exactly. Yeah. And um, Clinton has stated that she has no interest in entering the race, but this late surge mimics the recent support we saw betters and citizens put behind Andrew Cuomo. So again, Cuomo's name is being brought up as somebody that um, could potentially be a replacement, like Pasta said. And... Hillary Clinton has seen this biggest shift in terms of her chances to win the presidency, yeah. moving from plus 6,000 all the way to plus 2,000 in less than yeah. a month. So $100 bet would have gotten you plus 6,000. I bet $100 I'm going to win 6,000 on it. Now I'm only going to win 2,000. Right. Why? Because the odds are getting shifting that she will be the replacement. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what so that's, that's a what big it's jump. It's, it's a huge jump. Yeah. It's a huge jump. She has made herself also very visible in terms of Biden being around, hosting a fundraiser for him, all of these things. So we're seeing the Democratic establishment kind of like throw people out there and see how how it feels. I would love for them. I would love for them to pick Hillary Clinton. Please pick Hillary Clinton. You will have like the most devastating results ever. You will literally have people vote for Trump just to to see Hillary Clinton cry again. They really would. I mean, I I can't even blame people for that. I I'm not gonna say do it, but yeah. I I would be You know be who hilarious. my choice is? If I had to bet right now, I said, and I I think it's gonna be, I think they're gonna test the waters with either Elizabeth Warren or Amy Klobuchar, and Hillary Clinton will be the vice president to either one of them. That is my I, listen. I think they think they can get their cake and eat it too when it comes to Klobuchar. Yeah, she's a little bit more independent thinking at at times. But she's a war hawk. She's mm-hmm. all over the place. I think that I think they can control her to give her what she wants. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Elizabeth Warren might be a little bit too risky. They think at times that she might be able to go back to her old senatorial ways. But once again, they've been buttering her bread. So I don't know if she's electable at this point, Elizabeth Warren. They might feel that Klobuchar might be well, more electable. Yeah. But one way or the other, Clinton will be the the vice president, and then either one of those people, say if it's Klobuchar, she'll be forced to step down, and Madam Clinton will have that crown that she That's, so desperately wants. I feel wants. like this is like Clinton's, like she's like, until I, nevertheless, she persisted yep. and like throw, like, you know, crowning herself. So I think, I definitely think, but my whole point is this doesn't matter. Like why? Because what it's like, you shouldn't vote for a Democrat because a lot of people have started saying things like, oh, well, like, I guess I'll vote for Joe Biden. I, I would vote for anybody but Biden now because Biden's so bad because he's a rapist and he has dementia and all this stuff. Okay. 
But what what's the difference between Biden and any other neoliberal endorsed Democrat? It, like, really, there's really very little differences. The whole point is the system. The system is the problem. The system is the issue. So if you're not tackling the system, you're going to continue getting candidates like Joe Biden or worse. And then you're going to continue having candidates like Trump beat them or worse. Yeah. And you're eventually going to get somebody that's like Trump, but not that falls in line, that is much more intelligent. And it's it's gonna it looks really bad for us, you guys. Really, and so this is not this is not the way to go. This it's isn't a shame. it. It's a it's, shame. I don't care which Democrat they nominate. They're not gonna nominate a progressive. I'm not voting I for know. them. And, Bernie, and they're not giving us anything. They're not giving you Medicare for all. They're not giving you a Green New Deal. They're not giving you rent moratoriums. They're not giving you anything. They're fighting over how much they're gonna give you, saying that you're gonna make too much when it's pennies for them. God, Bernie Sanders, why did you not have the political will to fight this right now if you had hung in there if you would have challenged stuff if you would have friggin just oh my god yeah i mean if you and there's and let me tell you something if they try to pull him out get back in there i don't think he's going to i think he's going to capitulate it's i'm sorry but if something happens you should get back in this damn friggin race yeah and i and i shouldn't be saying that because i I don't think it's it's hardly going to happen but i mean man you should be fighting this thing tooth and nail all the way through Man, you should have been doing that. This is what they're selling you, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Oh, my God.